All right guys, welcome back to the chaotic series that is our apartment search. Obviously, things have not been going exactly to plan so far in the first few days we're looking through our apartments in Barcelona, but this week we are diving like headfirst in planning on lining up a bunch of apartments to see and hopefully having things work out before we have to move out of the loft apartment for our short-term accommodation because obviously like it is just becoming a bit mayhem and I knew it was gonna be stressful but I didn't think it was gonna be this stressful so it is definitely been a bit of a wake-up call but we do have an apartment scheduled tomorrow. It's near Sagrada Familia, and it's not exactly the area where we want to be, but the apartment looks like a really good size and has potential to be quite nice. So we're going to go check that out and I will take you guys around, but let's hope that this week goes smoother and we have an accommodation set up before we have to move out and everything can go just swimmingly and smooth because that is the goal right so tomorrow the crazy adventure really does start for apartment searches and let's hope it goes well here is the apartment that is furnished near Sagrada Familia it had three bedrooms the bedrooms are all quite small size actually the office was really tiny and the spare room was quite small as well. I had a big bathroom. It had a little cute dining room area. It also had a really cute lounge to the left. I didn't film because the realtor was sitting right there, but I had a little leather couch and it had a really big kitchen, which was nice since I love to cook and all new appliances. So it was a decent size and it was a good first start to the week for our first apartment viewing. All right, so we just saw the apartment that I showed you that was furnished and it was a really decent size it had quite a big kitchen and it had three bedrooms the main one was decent size the only thing was their furniture was like kind of meh a little bit old school and location really wasn't great we wanted to try to get a familiar area to see if that was a possibility of somewhere we would want to live but i think there just isn't enough going on restaurant and bar wise and things in the neighborhood to make it perfect for us so although the apartment like was a potential and could work it would need some help and you know some decorating for sure so i think we're just gonna stick to where we want to live which is like san antonio or champlain on the left side that's kind of the main areas we'd like to be so i think we're gonna focus on there and try to find some apartments so keep it on the search all right so we are off to a very important day of apartment searching we're headed off to a champlain today right on the northwest side of the city to go see an apartment this is unfurnished I am if you're on the unfurnished part, but we'll see, fingers crossed, we are really gonna get to the wire. We have seven days to find an apartment, so wish us luck and I'll show you around. And we're off to a Champlay. Now this is a three bedroom apartment we're going to see. It had two nice exterior facing bedrooms, both lots of natural light and big windows. They did have a little area in front of the bedroom to put a wardrobe or a closet, but the bedrooms itself were kind of skinny and long. It had a little interior office one bathroom and then it headed off to a really nice american style kitchen and living room and then a little balcony with a view of the interior box of apartments and some sun so we just got back from the first on furnished apartment now, like i said before going i was kind of on the fence about it because i am not a big fan of on furnished because the thought of having to furnish an entire apartment is extremely daunting in barcelona but it does give us obviously the opportunity to kind of put together our own apartment and make it ours because a lot of the furniture in the already furnished apartments is honestly pretty crap um there aren't a lot that have actually good updated nice furniture i find that most of them are quite old and whatever you take out of the furniture apartment and replace it with you have to leave behind so it's kind of like i don't know there's a lot of pro and cons between it but we saw this unfurnished one it was really nice it was really bright and sunny which is a really key point for both of us we love to have a really naturally lit apartment in sunshine it just makes you feel so much happier for the days but for me i found it to be really long and skinny I saw in the video like it is mostly just a long hallway it opens up to the big american style kitchen and living room which is beautiful and has a little balcony into the interior side of the apartments but then the bedrooms on the other side i found them to be actually really small and skinny so you could put a bit like a double size or a little bit bigger bed into it but you wouldn't have a lot of room to walk around the bed or on either side and only one side would have been able to have a bedside table i think so for me i didn't fully love it but it is definitely in the cards we have one more to go see later today and that is actually like the dream apartment for me it's a bit higher than what we wanted to spend like quite a bit but 
I want to go see it because it's furnished. It has nice stuff inside and I think it really could meet everything that we want to have in an apartment or at least on my end and it just looks absolutely beautiful. It has that Spanish style, the tall ceilings, the little like detailed molding work on everything. So that is something I'm definitely interested in and really want to see. So we have that later today. So we're going to wait on this other apartment to see if we want to actually put an application in until we see the second one. And then we'll go from there, but I'll take you on that trip because I really am so excited to see it. So hopefully maybe this next one will be the real dream one, but we'll see. So I wasn't able to film this next apartment because the people who were living there were there as we were reviewing it, but it had a really pretty big living room area. It had a dining room table. It had these balconies. You can overlook the street, which was really definitely nice. There's loads of natural light and sun. It had great furniture inside. It was honestly amazing. The kitchen was a bit small, but had all new appliances in it. And the bedroom had this cute little nook in the back and it had two bathrooms and all of them were new and renovated. It was a three bedroom as well, which is perfect for us. And oh my God, it was really honestly such a beautiful apartment in person, even better than we saw in the pictures. All right, so we just saw the apartment and it was everything I dreamed of and more. It was so freaking pretty. It was gorgeous and like big and high ceilings and big windows and everything that i really wanted in an apartment however i don't think it's a smart idea i don't think it's a smart idea for us financially my heart is literally broken so i think we're gonna put an application in on the previous apartment i showed you because i think that's probably our best shot <sighs> a little bit of heartbreak but i know it'll be worth it some lady did not like where I was filming, so I had to move. But I do think it's probably the best decision for us. I don't want to stress myself financially for an apartment, and then it leaves me not be able to travel as much in Europe and enjoy all the things we have to do in Barcelona. So although my heart is literally broken for it, I think it is a better idea to go with the one within our budget originally. So we'll see what happens with application and fingers crossed. <laughs> Exciting stuff. So it has been an utter whirlwind. I don't even know what else to call it. So we ended up putting in our application and all of our paperwork for the apartment, which I first showed you guys. And that apartment was the empty one. We had to furnish it and we were okay with it. We just really liked the common area. Harry absolutely fell in love with the apartment. And there aren't actually really a lot of options right now in the market. Put all of our stuff in and I'm like, all right, we'll wait and see and hope to find out that we got the apartment, everything's good. Well, different owners have different regulations and rules for when they rent the apartment. The owner of this apartment has a non-pair insurance that they go through to make sure obviously they are covered on their end since it is a long-term rental. And this insurance requires paperwork and things that we actually just can't provide and will never be able to actually provide at all due to the digital nomad visa. One of the requirements is to show that we have our income being deposited into a Spanish bank account. And now because we're digital nomads and our income is all foreign, even on the visa, you'll be putting your money into your normal bank account and then just paying your taxes from a Spanish account. So it is definitely a bit of a whirlwind. We weren't able to provide that paperwork and they also wanted to see our work permit, which is obviously in the process. So we sent them information. I sent them a letter for our lawyer. But it doesn't seem like it might be enough. Um, we saw the apartment relisted, which was really sad to see on Idealista. We called them, we haven't heard back yet, but I'm gonna assume from the relisting that we didn't get the apartment. Now we are losing our short-term rental in like five days, I think it is. So we're a bit of a chaos whirlwind right now. We need to find a new short-term rental and we need to work on seeing more apartments and hoping that we can find another one that doesn't require the same type of insurance. Like I said, each owner is different. Each one has different requirements. Not all of them have the insurance. Not all of them require this paperwork. We have everything else they need, like the actual realtor side of your paperwork and everything you gave us is absolutely perfect. But it's up to the insurance company to decide. So I don't think they're gonna decide with us. We haven't heard back. Hopefully, maybe the next video clip will be a change and they'll call back and we'll have the apartment. But as of right now, it is literally back to the drawing board. So just pray for us. <laughs> well, we officially got denied. Um, we got the information from the rental agency that the landlord did not accept us. So we have four days to figure out where we're living before we're homeless. <laughs> Casual. So we're just starting all over again. <laughs> I think it's probably gonna take us a couple more weeks. I think 
reality, we probably should have gave ourselves a month. Maybe we're a bit ambitious with our two and a half weeks to find an apartment, but I know we'll find the place we love. It just might be chaos, <laughs> absolute chaos in the meantime. So another day, another rental loss. <laughs> Lord help us. I knew this was going to be craziness, but I genuinely didn't think it was going to be to like this level of madness. I feel like my head is just spinning. And I've been searching like a mad person for different short-term accommodations that we could stay at, but hotels are so expensive, really doesn't even make sense. And it's not like we need it for like two or three days, we need it for the next couple weeks until we find the next place. And so I like, I honestly don't know what we're gonna do. I'm gonna spend the next few hours going like mad. There's a bunch of Facebook groups, there's WhatsApp groups for digital nomads renting apartments, and I think I'm just gonna post a billion times, look through the last like month worth of posts, see if anyone has anything available. And I guess just cross our fingers because we need to find somewhere, like we're moving so much that it's just chaotic, it's really stressful, especially with both of us working. Like it's not like we're just here on vacation, like we're working, having to live life. So I don't freaking I don't even I don't even have words like I don't even know what is gonna happen what we're gonna do all I can do is hope that hope that we get it sorted soon because my brain feels like it's melting <laughs> and turning into just scrambled eggs with this friggin with this experience so I'm gonna go search for a few hours and let's hope I find something otherwise we just have it homeless. Well, we've made it to our third now accommodation in three weeks, or maybe not even three weeks now. So pretty much we had like four days to figure out where we were going next. A lot of the short-term accommodations were taken and then I literally looked for days and I didn't find something until pretty much like the day before we were supposed to leave our short-term loft accommodation and the new place wasn't starting for a two-day gap so we ended up bouncing to my friends who luckily let us stay there for two days and then we ended up here I'm now here for almost about two weeks a little bit less so it has just been like I said, fully chaotic. This is just a chaotic series, I feel like. So the apartment we're in now, we're only renting a room. It is a five bedroom apartment, it's massive, but I will show you our little section of it and give you a little tour. And there's so much sunlight with the office area. It is amazing. So here is a living room area. As you can see, they have a little projector to play right up here. And then back here, favorite area is like a little desk. It's a little section with lots of windows, with a little table right here big windows out into the interior block of the flat. We've got a desk and Harry working. And then it turns right into the bedroom. It's tiny, perfect size, don't mind all our stuff on the floor. But yeah, I absolutely love this little space of it. And I've just been sitting here working and yeah, just enjoying the nice sunshine. And then I wanted to go to a cafe to go work and I found this really, really cute cafe up in a Chamblay. So I sat down, pulled up my laptop, did some client work, ordered myself a tea, and then also started looking for some new apartments because we literally need to find a place to live. And then I stumbled upon a new place I wanted to go schedule is on first apartment. So I'm gonna call the agent. Hopefully we can see that soon. All right, so we found an apartment that we actually really like. I'm actually excited about this one. It has a giant terrace. like massive huge terrace that would be so nice to have especially in the summertime be able to like sit out in the sun have a little barbecue up there like i literally love it but i messaged the agent and we can't see it for just about two weeks so we kind of need a place before then but i really really do like this one so i did make an appointment to go see it and we have it on the calendar so we're gonna keep looking for other places, but I think this one could potentially be the one. It's like a perfect price, perfect size. Like I said, you cannot go wrong with the terrace. 
so fingers crossed we're gonna keep looking in the meantime but i feel like my heart right now is now set on that one so we'll see all right so now we are actually on our way to another apartment this one's in a champlain as well and it's a really cute little area quiet we are actually excited because this one has a garden or a backyard as you call it in america which is not very common whatsoever in barcelona or in any major city so it actually has like a cool little green space and a deck and all kind of stuff so we're really, really excited about it the apartment itself it looks a little tiny but we shall see i mean the garden is such a plus so let's go check it out i was super sad i was able to film some apartments and so that people were living there we're also there during the viewing and we weren't able to film but it was so cute i'll give you guys a recap of everything we saw and show you the online pictures so you can have an idea of what the apartment looks like all right so we just got back from the garden apartment and it was really nice like the apartment was set up good it was nice to see what it looked like with furniture in it for the people who were in there now and moving out because it definitely gave it a good feel um the apartment's kind of very long and skinny which is common with a lot of the spanish apartments just because of the way the buildings are built and the backyard was really big however what we didn't realize is that the apartment is on the second floor so that means that the staircase is like actually three floors down to the garden level and the garden was really big but it didn't get any sun so we asked them if it got sun the other day and they said pretty much like half hour maybe an hour it gets a little bit of sun in the front but the rest of it gets no sun and they're like if you want more sun you have to trim like the tree like i'm talking about a big freaking tree like just trim it it's grown a lot in the past year i'm like okay and they told us there's all plants down there and there's no like hose or any way to get water down there so you have to constantly bring the water down and water them if you want them to live and not die and pretty much it was gonna end up being like yard work and because it didn't get a lot of sun and because it was kind of like actually a bit farther down from the property than we thought it would have been i think less used than we originally anticipated when we went to go look at the apartment so taking the backyard out of it the rest of the apartment was actually quite small like i said it's long and skinny and even the main bedroom was kind of just the same style long and skinny it did have a door out to the stairs down which was nice but the only way to access the garden was actually through the bedroom which i kind of didn't like and then the room itself like you could literally just slide like a queen size bed in the middle there wasn't a lot of room on either side so the rooms weren't exactly big and functional um even the spare room wouldn't have fit like a double sized bed inside of it so with all that dealer we decided to pass on the apartment i think we still kind of are hung up a bit on the big terrace apartment it just has like everything we're kind of looking for and i really really like it plus the terrace is just amazing like imagine having cookout laying out all that kind of stuff it just makes me really excited so we are really still looking forward to seeing that one as of right now we have nothing else set up so going to keep looking but yeah we're just kind of waiting to see the terrace apartment nothing else has really caught our eye but at the same time we can't see that one for another week and a half so it's kind of driving me a bit crazy i'm not exactly sure what we're gonna do but it's all part of this chaotic series isn't it so <laughs> But we're just gonna keep looking and still excited for Terrace Martin. So we'll see what happens. Lord only knows. So literally walking home and she just texted me the agent and said that the tenant wants to stay two weeks longer. And now we can't see till April 25th. And I was like, is there any chance we can see it before then? The tenant will not let anyone in the apartment. So now it's like a month until we can see that place, which now puts our brain in an entire scramble of what to do. Cause we really don't want to wait that long for an apartment. We're moving around so much, like I feel like we can't catch a break. Oh, uh, I thought knew this was gonna be stressful and frustrating, but I didn't realize it was gonna be this level of stressful and frustrating. So honestly, I feel like we're uh, like lost for words right now. It just freaking sucks. Back on the hunt, I guess. We literally have nothing now. Uh, you ever wanna like hit your head against a wall? Just, like, <laughs> oh barcelona gods please just help us literally back to square freaking one. <sighs> oh my god i've got big news i cannot wait to share with you guys oh my god <gasps> You'll have to stay tuned for the next video to catch everything because there's still so much more that I have to tell you and share with you guys. So definitely go for the next video, but we've got big news.
So don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you do not miss the next one because trust me, you will want to keep watching the chaos saga that <laughs> has been this apartment search. So hit the button, like, and comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.